Hey what's up guys, back again with another video in the Node.js and Express series. This episode I'm going to show you how to upload files with a form and then take those files and then store them in a folder somewhere. Okay guys, so now that we actually know how to add games to our database and, you know, take data from the database and um, make it so we can access the ID of the, you know, documents and stuff like that, all that fun stuff, let's uh, make our program a little more advanced by making it so that they can directly upload the two files, the game file and the, uh, basically the cover file for the game directly to the website, okay? So basically, um, we want this because currently what they have to do is go into public games and then put it in here and then put also the thumbnail inside of here also so that's really repetitive and not really repetitive but it's really uh, it's just too much work right it's not very realistic for um, a real website you wouldn't have to do that for you know another website usually that's kind of stupid okay so we're gonna make a better system right so the way that you upload files with um, node.js um, is with a special kind of npm package so if we go to npmjs.com and we can search these packages here Let's find one called express file upload, okay? So is this one right here. I'll put the link in the description for you. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be a special package that allows us to take files and then move them and stuff like that. And then we can get some data from the files like metadata and stuff like that. And it's pretty cool. So anyway, let's install this package real quick. So npm install express file upload, okay? And some people like to teach you to use another package called Multer. Multer, that's what it's called. But um, I mean, that's it's a good package, you know, you, if you want to work with, you know, middleware and stuff like that, and you know, moving files and all that fun stuff. But this one to me is actually better. The uh, Express file upload, that's just better for me. Okay, so that's why we're gonna use this, uh, use this one. And so yeah, so it should be done installing now. Oh, we forgot to save it. Make sure you save it. So dash dash save. That was that will of course save it to your package.json. And there we go. So let's start it back up. Load mon so we can get some stuff running. And so yeah, so the first thing we want to do is actually make it so they can click here, you know, when they're adding a game on this page, they can click here and then, you know, some, uh, select the file that they want to upload, right? So let's try uh, getting something like that. So if we go to the Bootstrap uh, website, let's find some stuff or components that we can use for that. So if we go to form, let's try and find a form uh, input just for that. Okay, so down here, if you click File Browser, it'll take us to this little section here, and we have a bunch of options for, you know, file browsers, and basically what that is, is, of course, on a website, if you've seen this before, if we click Browse, we can actually select a file from our, our computer, of course, okay? So anyway, um, what we want to do is uh, take one of these, of course, and then add it to our website. Um, so we'll use this one, of course, pretty simple looking. And let's go ahead and go to our Add Games uh, section here. So... I already commented, uh, commented this out, is the section from before, let, let me show you, let me get rid of this, or oh, not that, let's uncomment it, uh, then we go back here and reload, so it's these two inputs that we had before, um, where we just basically put in, um, you know, the name of the file and then the name of the other file, so we don't need this anymore, of course, because we're going to be getting or submitting the file ourselves, right? So basically what we can do is get the name of the file while we submit it with, you know, Node.js with the package that we just installed. Don't worry, I'll be showing you. So anyway, let's just comment this out again. All right, cool. So now let's put the input that we just, uh, you know, copied. So I'll put it right there. Okay, so I actually found a better one here. I'm going to copy this one and then I'm going to use it instead of the one that I had before. So I'm just going to replace it. There we go. So there's one. So let's actually get another one because we're going to have one for our, um, you know, the game file and one for the thumbnail for the game. So let's go back and see what this looks like. Reload here. And there we go. So that looks pretty cool. We got these two uh, file uploaders. So let's put a title around it. Um, put uh, an H3 right here. Oops. I cannot type. H3 uh, upload your files. Okay. So that will be just, you know, a simple thing telling them to upload their files here. Oh, we put it in the wrong place. Uh, go right here. All right, so there we go. Um, so let's go back and reload. And there we go. So it looks, it looks better. So now let's also change some more small details. So we'll change this to, instead of choose file, we'll say game file 
so they know that this one is for the game file and then this one is for the thumbnail so we'll put here image file there we go now let's change these IDs here uh, right here because they're pretty simple so I'm gonna call this one image input and then I'll call this one also image put input because they need to match because um, because this label here has a for attribute of course and the for attribute lets the label know where the label needs to go to or what input box the label is linked to so now it's linked to this one because they both have the same ID right so anyway we'll also do that for this one we'll call it um, game input okay okay and that should be that for that should be it for that so let's go back here reload and there we go so that's how you do that so the next step would actually be to make it so that we can take the file once they you know click submit here and then you know uh, somehow grab the file and then upload it and move it to one of these folders here right because of course we're storing all of our game files inside of this folder here so somehow we want to take that file whenever we submit the form and then move it there okay so the first step for that is actually going to be to set up the package that we just installed so we'll do that so const file upload is equal to uh, require uh, express file upload okay and there's one more thing we need to do down here just to make it work it's going to be app.use and then file upload as a function okay or a method whatever you want to call it so that will make it so that the um, express file upload package is actually used whenever we're working with forms and stuff like that okay so uh, yeah anyway so what this package is going to allow us to do is basically um, you know how here whenever we um, submit the form we can get the request of the form and you know it's a post request right so we can get the the data that was sent with the form when it was submitted so rec.body is going to have all this data inside of it of course because each input here has its own name associated with it like right here it says name is width the name is height name creator name title right so that's the data associated with it so likewise we need to go here and give it the uh, give them their own names by the way so name is going to be oh my gosh is equal to we'll call it image file and then this one will also need a name on its input uh, element so name is equal to game file and of course like these it's going to allow us to grab the value of whatever we put into these two inputs okay so in this case it'll be the two files right once we upload the files we need to grab it right so instead of doing rec.body whenever we're working with files um, this package that we just installed allows us to do rec.files, okay? So if we want to store the value of the game file that we just uploaded into a variable, we can do that. So var uh, game file is equal to rec.files, and this will be, and this will basically be the same thing as rec body, you know, for the variables for the input boxes, except for files, okay? So uh, rec.files.game file, okay? And so this will be the game file, of course, because um, game file. Is represented right here we call it game file so that's why I put game file right here okay likewise we can store the image file in a, in a variable so image file is equal to rec dot files dot image file okay I cannot type oh my gosh all right anyway so now we have we have stored both of these files into their own variables okay and so now that we have grabbed these files basically we can upload them okay so there's a special method here uh, it's called move but you would do it like this so game file dot mv and that stands for move and then the first parameter is going to be where you want to move it to okay and so in this case um, we want to move it into the games folder right so we have to do public because in this case the this uh, what's it called this package doesn't know that you're looking in the public folder so we have to explicitly say public so public slash games and that's where it's going to be inside of so make sure you have a slash behind games of course because it's going to be inside the games folder so just make sure you, so just make sure you have that. So that's where it's going to be stored. But also you want to put what the name of the file is going to be. So you're going to put a plus to concatenate a string here. And so the other part after the plus is going to be the name of the file. Okay. So what we can do here is do game file. You know this variable right here. Let's actually get the name of the file that we just uploaded. Okay. So we can get that by doing game file dot name. Okay. So it's able to tell the name of the file that we just uploaded, okay? So that's where it's going to be stored, and the next parameter is going to be a callback function. So function error, okay? And then we can handle that. So if error console.log couldn't upload the game file. And then we can say console.log error, just like that. And then else console.log uh, game file successfully uploaded okay 
so just a recap of what this was so basically we're grabbing the file you know from the input here after we posted it to this post request so we're grabbing that file and then we're calling upon the move method which is going to take that file and then move it to this location here under this name which we just uh, specified okay of course it doesn't have to be this it could be any name that we choose we could do um, uh, booty.swf we can literally name it whatever we want okay so that's just uh, what we're doing here we're just doing game file dot name which is going to be the name of the file as we upload it okay so anyway that's going to do that it's going to put it there as that name and then the callback function of course is going to check and see once this has run if there's an error then it's going to handle that error or not handle it but it's going to tell you it's going to output all this basically and then if there's no error it's going to output this okay so that means it was successful okay so yeah, that's how you upload you know the game file, and likewise we can do the same for image file. So image file dot mv for move. So public slash games and then slash we want to do another folder thumbnails which is inside of the games folder. So thumbnails and then slash and then we want to put the name of the file. So image file dot name and then function error. Okay, and then we'll open this up console dot log. Let's just copy all this. We'll say image file. And then we'll put image right here also. So if this all went smoothly, it'll say image file successfully uploaded, okay? So anyway, I know that was a lot, but basically, of course, we're just you know posting this um, form here. And then inside of that post request, we're sending all of this data like usual, right? We did that a couple episodes ago. But also now we're sending these two files, okay? And then we're going to take those two files and then move them to their corresponding uh, places in the file structure, okay? So let's test this out and make sure we did everything correctly. So if we reload here, we can go back here and fill this in. Let's put some random data inside. And let's actually comment out this part where it you know, submits the data to the database because we don't want to send all this stupid data that we're inputting right now. That'll be a waste. So anyway, let's comment that out and then we'll upload the two files. So we'll put that file and then we'll put this file, okay? So let's submit this and see what happens. So we get an error that says cannot read property game file of undefined. Let's try to figure out what, what that happened. Uh, okay, and I found out what the problem was. So basically whenever you're using you know file uploading and stuff like that, and whenever you're using this npm package, you have to add another attribute to your form, okay? And this attribute is going to be ink type, so encoding type. It's going to be multi-part slash form data, okay? So this will allow us to store form data in our post request and all that fun stuff, okay? So that should allow it to work. So if we reload here, continue. Uh, let's just try it again. So now it rerouted us to this, you know, list page here. So that means it worked. It should work as long as there's no errors. Uh, yeah, it says uh, image file successfully uploaded and then game file successfully uploaded. So let's check here and see if it was uploaded. And as you can see here, we do have our image file here. That's pretty cool. And then also we have a new one right here. Yep, there it is. So that's pretty cool. So anyway, now that we know, um, you know, the file uploading part of it works, let's make it so we can, um, you know, store the, uh, the game data back in the database. So we'll uncomment that. So basically what we did effectively is we can, we successfully made a system where we can also, you know, store our game data of the game that we're about to add to our database. But also at the same time, we're going to, we're going to be able to upload the game file and the image file to our project. Okay. So now if you remember correctly, there's one more thing we need to do, okay? So whenever we're, um, you know, clicking a game here, for example, let's click play game. What it's doing here is it's checking to see inside of the database what the name of the file is or what the name of the game file is. So likewise, likewise if we go here, so if we go here, it says file name is equal to learn to fly SWF, right? But we have a problem here, okay? If we upload a custom file in our new system, it doesn't know what to set the name of the file to because we just got rid of those two inputs here, right? So now it doesn't know what to set inside of the database, inside of the MongoDB, da inside of the MongoDB database, what the file name is going to be, okay? So what we need to do here is go back to our app.js, we're already here, and change it so that the file name is going to be equal to the name of the file that we just uploaded, okay? So we could do that like we did here, okay? So we could do... Uh, game file dot name and then image file dot name okay so yeah that's going to get the name of the file that we just uploaded and get the name of it and then it's going to store that name in our mongodb database okay so that will fix that little problem here so let's actually test everything out okay so let's go to that website where we can get our free games from and let's download a game we'll do um i am insane rogue ai whatever that means so we'll download this 
And let's just put the information in. So add game, 550 by 500, I believe it said. Uh, yep, and then we got the name of Nerduk. We'll just copy that. Creator, and then the name of it is I am insane rogue guy. We'll just copy that. Weird name. Um, and then now we can we got this file here, so we're gonna upload it just by doing that. We could simply do that if we want to. Of course, we can select it also. So anyway, we put the file inside there, and then now we need an image file. Okay, so if we go to the interwebs and we search for an image, let's try and find one. We'll just download this one. Something simple. Okay. And then now I'm going to drag and drop onto this input here. And so now if we click submit, let's see what happens. Okay, so now it added it right there. Awesome. So let's try clicking play game. And awesome. So the game worked. Awesome. So we uploaded it. Cool. So as you can see here, we now have a fully complete system where we can both add the game data and the game itself at the same time all in one go. We don't have to actually go into our folder and then upload the file manually. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So hopefully you like that. So if we just go to our MongoDB database, we can check and see and the files are there we see, and the files are there see as you can see here it says embeddable 100362.swf which was the name of the file down here as you can see hopefully you didn't hear that that was a firework um, anyway it scared the crap out of me but also the name the name of the file here is the same name as the file here because what it did here um, as you can see it did game file dot name of course and game file is going to be the file right and so we did the name of the file that we got from the post request and then we got the name of it by doing dot, dot name okay so hopefully that, that all makes sense hopefully i didn't go too fast for you guys but yeah that's how you do all of that so hopefully you like that i just want to show you one more thing um since we have since we have the capabilities of getting the file as a variable we can actually get some more more information rather than just the name of it of course so we can do game file dot and then there's a bunch of information here we can get um let's see here well if we, let's just go to the the plugin page, or I mean the package page, we can see that we have all this information here, okay? And this is just an example of the information that you can get. So anyway, if you're interested in that, you can just go here and then uh, check it out, okay? So yeah, guys, if you have any questions about what we did, um, you could ask a question in the comment section, or you can look in the description for the Discord link. You could join our Discord uh, channel and then um, hang out with us, you know, ask questions, whatever you want to do. And so yeah. Also, one more thing, if you want to look in the description also, there's a link here for all of the code from today's episode, okay? So make sure you check it out, bookmark it for future reference, and all that fun stuff, okay? So yeah, if you like this video, leave a like if you want to see more, subscribe, and peace.